Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where in the last episode we began our little adventure here with our duplicates, though uh, it looks like we're having a bit of trouble breathing up here. Now uh, that's because of many, many things, but chief among them is that we're not doing anything with the horrific amounts of CO2 that are being produced. So, let's go ahead and deal with that. It seems that the CO2 is largely over on this side, but it's a little bit over here as well. So we're going to pop these two there. Now they're right next to light, so they're going to get an efficiency bonus, which is why we put this one in here so that it could benefit from the light. Now, once once this really starts getting up and going, and we no longer have an oxygen rock in here, this room is going to get filled with CO2, because currently it is the lowest point in our base, and that actually fills me with a great deal of worry for them. So, uh, go ahead, you can start doing some work. We are going to prioritize building a little area down here. Go ahead, there we are. And build a wall up there. We are then going to build a door here, but more importantly, I'm actually going to run some power down here, and the power is going to be going to this little device here, the algae deoxidizer. Now, I have mentioned that the algae terrarium is more efficient, but the algae terrarium, um, well, it performs better in light, and right now we don't have that available to us in a way that I could easily put in it. However, I believe we may be doing research and might change that. Uh, yes, actually we've got the ceiling lamp. The ceiling lamp will, we can attach to the ceiling, as the name suggests. So, sure, you know what? Actually, uh, cancel that idea. We will need power down here anyway, so I'll just run it down here any, uh, regardless. There's going to be something that's going to need it, even if it's just a pump down there eventually. So we'll just plan for the future and intentionally there. But we will pop that down, and I'm going to prioritize some digging work to be done at the top there. So that will make a fairly nice little area. We also have available to us a new duplicate. And this duplicant is going to be named from the comments of the first video. So let's see who we have got. We have got Stacy, a level 6 physician. Okay, got some decent medicine, interior decorator, mouth breather, and anemic. Eh, not super happy about that one. Got a grease monkey who is a slow learner. They'll learn a little bit slower. They vomit when stressed. They've got a low decor expectation. Okay, that's not terribly bad. Uh, gastrophobia. This duplicate has an unshakable feel of kitchens. Uh, that's also not so bad, but does their best work when they ought to be sleeping. Um, all right. I'm interested in seeing how the night owl quality works. Very well, let us consult with the Chaotrocles and see who Chaotrocles has chosen. And Chaotrocles has chosen um, C.W. Logan. I imagine it's just C.W. Logan, not Logan, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. But there we are. So, welcome to the colony, C.W. Logan. There we go. And that brings us up to the point where all four of our beds are going to be being used. Now, let's get uh, this work done down here, please, and indeed, thank you. Eventually, we'll get a little light above there, and that'll help. Now, this does impact negatively the decor of the room, but we will be able to do things to pull the decor back up, assuming that we've got someone who can do decent art. Um, we've got two people who are not terribly bad at it. Two people who are not terribly, terribly bad at it. Uh, you are... Mm, Okay, well, deliver, sweep. You're particularly good at power generation. Um, Calissa Fox is as well. So I'm actually going to limit it to you guys so that you get more out of the time that you're doing the power run. In fact, you're much better. So, yeah, I'm going to have um, CW Logan, Logan being the only person who does the power for us. There we go. And you should charge your batteries up super duper duper fast. And I will be very happy. Also... We're starting to see the effect of all the CO2 that's kind of moving down here. So, I noticed that we've got some uh, oxalite over there. How about we just hook up to it? That should make this area much better. For the time being, it'll eventually run out. Oh, we have finished our research. Fantasticness. Now then, the next thing that we want to research. We could go for power switch battery. Hmm. The larger batteries are quite nice. Plumbing is very important to get early, but the same could be said about moving gas around, frankly. Um, and that also leads to the airlock, which is especially good. But I'm going to say that we want plumbing first so that we can get to these, because we really are going to need to be able to make more algae sooner 
and then later. So let's that, get all of that going, please. Yes, I know, it's terrible down there. It is just basically this horrible CO2 smog. You cannot breathe in there at all. Uh, we're not doing that great up here, though, to be perfectly honest. We probably want another um, algae terrarium, perhaps. We can have a look. Let's have a look at this algae terrarium. Uh, it's not doing amazingly well. What about this one? Um, it seems to be okay. Uh, where was it? Gains a minor efficiency boost in direct light. Well, I can only assume that it has direct light. In fact, both of them do. I could put another one there. I mean, this is not a nice room. It's never going to be a nice room. So, this is a work room. I'm going to have another one because we've got a lot of CO2, and I would rather convert that uh, and use it up rather than, than do nothing with it. Now, one thing we need now, how much food we got? We got a reasonable amount at the moment, but I'm going to make a bunch more. There we go. And next, since we have decor, let's pop in a little light right there. Also, um, uh, rather, since we've unlocked a couple of new things, we'll have these items here to raise the decor in this room. Now, what will happen is these blank canvases will be made, and then someone's going to come along and paint them. And based on their skill, they might... Uh, do a good job and they might do a really bad one uh i would like this to be done fairly urgently i would like a new room dug out we will um dig this away i love the fact that you can tell this to just get rid of everything or oh, actually no, no 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 what have i done i was literally just talking about it and i did that um have we got power running through there uh okay where's power no we don't okay that's fine but if you did you could say, no, no, just get rid of the buildings, or the, you know, all the gas pipes, all the liquid pipes, all the wires. You can be very specific, and that's such a good, good feature. Honestly, I would love that to be added into RimWorld, frankly, because that is so useful. But we're going to get rid of this. I'm going to have a little door on this side, um, and by that, I mean we'll put the door here. There we go. We're also going to have to dig this area in order to be able to access it at all. However, we're going to have some places where people can eat. Or alternatively, we do have the means to plant, and we really should get on that, frankly. Um, how tall do these need to be? Hmm. You know what? It makes sense to me to have the food right next to this. Sure, okay. Um, although if I do that... Eh, no, no, I like, I like that idea. We can have either have the food over here or the dining room, and then the opposite down here. Um, I put the dining room up there, actually. So we're going to get that going, but then we're going to start planting some plants and getting other such things all sorted. There's a lot of oxygen moving around now. It's starting to look so much nicer. Oh, that, that's, that's made a great deal of help for us. So much help. That is grand. I like it. That is not going to last us very long, though. But there's another one over there. And, in fact, we've got all sorts of good things. We've got a lot of algae on, the, on this start. We are super duper lucky. Um, the, these, the start can sometimes be much worse. But slime up there, we can turn into algae. And, in fact, all of this contaminated water, we can turn into good things as well, which is pretty good. How are things going over there? We're doing a bunch of research. We've got a lot of oxygen. Generally speaking, I think we're okay. Let's have a quick look. We, uh, we're moving, removing more than we're adding, which is unfortunate. We are not wasting. Oh, actually, no, we have wasted it. Um... That was not used or stored in a battery. Hmm, okay, that's that's kind of interesting. Stress change. We removed 86. Wow. That is... That's frankly amazing. How on earth did that happen? Either way, I'm, I appreciate it. Certainly. Okay, so we're getting this little room dug out. Oh, it's going to take forever. But thankfully, when sand drops, if it's still in an area that was told to be worked on, they'll just work on it, which is great. Right, there we go. Um, do you... Where are you? You've just fallen over. Do you do, not do any work? I mean, are you not a night owl? Please do work. Begin doing work. Go. Go do work. Can I tell you to do work? No, I cannot. That is a sign. I can assign you. Ah, uh, well. Uh, I need to make you a bed, though. This much is clear. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and start working on a new room. We'll make this one slightly higher up, because it really should have been to start with. Uh, we'll also dig this area out. We've got... Is that some algae up there? Yeah, we'll grab that as well. Um, I'll also grab this. There we go. 
Shouldn't be too bad. But you're going to be sleeping on the floor for a little while. There we go. Need some more power. Thank you kindly. And Belial is currently doing the paintings. Well done, Belial. Is that one of the jobs? Yes, Belial is one of our best artists. Ooh, a masterpiece. I like it. Let's have a look at that. Decor 22, Rabia 6. Okay, increases decor opinion and reduces duplicate stress. Hopefully your duplicates have been practicing the colony, uh, color theory. Now, the, the picture will depend on how good the picture is. Like, how well it's been made. This is a masterpiece quality item, so that's probably going to have really affected the decor. No, it has not. Okay. Decor uh, minus 26. Why is that? Clutter. Oh, they really dislike the clutter. Very well. Let us sweep this area then, please. Let's get that out of their bedroom, please. Because we super need that to be nice and tidy. Now, over here, we could perhaps build a storage area. That would definitely be something that I would like to see made. Um, we could have some extra storage up here. And in fact, we probably want some. So, go ahead. We'll pop down... Sure, we'll pop down two extra storages up there for the time being. How's our research going? We are almost there to the pumps and the liquid pipes. Now, there's nothing that we're going to want to do specifically with pumping yet this is more that we we want to move on to other things so we also and actually i should have considered this before i built these but uh, go ahead and store everything go ahead and store everything or at least yeah um we are going to need to set up an area for a supercomputer and supercomputers are gigantic uh let's have a quick look and i'll show you there we are stations supercomputers are huge monstrous affairs uh we could even put one down here that might not be too bad, actually. I would like the idea of putting it down here because then it would make use of the fact that this room is too too high. Yeah, okay. I, I like that idea. Let's go ahead and set that up. But for the time being, we're not doing any research, which does suck, frankly. It does suck quite a lot. Uh, let's get all of this cleared out. There we go. Let's get all of that done. Thank you kindly. And then we will do that too because we're going to have to clean it anyway. Uh, okay, so people are just getting work done, which is good. Since we don't have any research at the moment, people are just getting stuff sorted. Let's get that done. Now, what I would like up here are some furnishings, mess tables specifically. Now, the thing with the mess tables is they are going to be items that uh, require... You, you assign a single mess table to each person. It's not that they'll just grab whichever one's available, which does actually kind of annoy me a little bit it's like oh really guys come on uh we'll cancel that one actually we'll have something nice in the middle there now light if i pop a light here it will carry enough to either side so that's fine and these themselves have no negative decor so that's fine well we can have six yeah sure we'll go all the way over there contaminated water we don't want to play around with that mm. it's kind of annoying but uh, we can easily mop that up if we need to, so it's fine. We'll just build this all the way out. I could run it down there, but let's, let's not worry about it too much. Uh, we're going to need to dig all of this as well. We'll have a big old mess hole, because I like it. And we're also going to need some oxygen-producing items in this room. We'll pop one around here, I think. Oh, mind you, it's not going to have much light if that's the case. Um, maybe in this room, I'm just going to fill it with oxygen. Uh, yeah, I think that would probably be a, a nice way of doing it. Make sure it gets filled up quickly. There we go. And hook that power up. Ooh, this needs power. My goodness, I didn't realize. I should have realized. It's been sat there, not being powered for so long. Oh, my lord. But this room should actually be really, really high before now. Yeah, excellent. I approve. We'll probably do something similar over there. And now, we've almost got this little area sorted, so we can start looking at building some doors. And building that up. And then across. There we go. And we'll get some more beds in there. We're eventually going to need quite a lot of them. Uh, so we want a cot. One there. There. Yeah, I think I'm going to make the, the bunk rooms um, fit four people at a time. That seems reasonable to me. Now, we're not going to be able to have that particular type of decor in here. So, we'll have a different kind of decor in this one. Now, the only issue with this room, actually, thinking about it, is it's not going to quite have the same... Um, do I want to do something similar? I kind of do. 
But I could just have an oxygen pump in this room, which would, would work. Uh, yeah, I think that should be okay. Let me just have a quick look at the decor item. How many tiles? Eight tile radius. So yeah, if I had one of these at either side, that would be perfectly fine. People would be absolutely okay with that. Uh, I'm going to build this up, though. Because I'm going to do something that is going to annoy some people, but I'm super finicky about these sorts of things. I really dislike just having cavities. <laughs> so I would like that being there. Though I would like this swept up a little bit more. So sweep, five to nine. Please just grab that as soon as you can. There we go. So we'll get this whole room cleaned out, please. There we are. Perfect. How are we doing down here? How are we doing for oxygen as a whole? Not so great anymore because we've lost the oxygen production, but we can tunnel over here. Now, I'm noticing that my food is starting to run a little bit lower than I would like. Um, so I'm going to have to deal with that fairly soon. But let's open up this little area to all of that oxygen and all of that algae. This is a game that always has you doing something, and I love that about it. You can't ever just sit there. You always need to be improving something as, as, as you're moving around. Someone brought some food over there and then couldn't do anything because it was... Oh, that's a mine. Um, super high priority sweep in this room as well, please, because it's filthy and that's going to affect people. There we go. Someone come... No? No? Okay. I guess. We do have a lot of work going on, though. And that is the problem. It, much like RimWorld, you can end up with a point where you've got so much to do that you tell your people to do things all the time. And as a result... They don't get any things done that are particularly important. Now, we've got a new printing pod. Let's see who we get. I'm generally going to take people. You can refuse. Now, there's two ways you can refuse. I can either say, no, I don't want anyone yet, but there's someone there that I want, so I'm not going to recycle it, or reject all, in which case the printer turns off and it'll turn back on in a little while if you get annoyed with that sound. You're a loud sleeper. I would need to give you somewhere particularly... Um, isolated because that'll just annoy everyone um mouth breather you need more but you're an early bird this duplicate wakes up feeling fresh and efficient in the first part of the day add plus two to all skills that's actually super good uh, divers lungs you can you actually breathe less okay irritable bowel bladder efficiency well i mean no I think it's got to be Pierre. Big softies with a tendency to nag. Pierre sometimes feels like the mothers the other duplicants never had. <laughs> Very well, Pierre. Let us see who Chaotocles picks for you. And your name shall be... Um, let's see... Gravewalker. There you go. Well done. And you are printed. We've already got a bedroom for you. It's not a very nice bedroom just yet, but, you know, it's there. It's, it's a bedroom. Uh, we will add in some decor, though. I'm going to pop in a beautiful skull. I could put it in the middle, though. I could put a beautiful sculpture in the middle and then maybe an oxygen pump at the far end. I kind of like that idea, actually. Uh, we'll have that just all the way over there, then. Pump. And then we'll run some power. Now, this is not the most efficient way of doing it. I'm having to put these pumps in, in some cases, simply to reduce the amount of um, CO2 in a room. But really, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm increasing the oxygen in the room, so it's pushing the CO2 somewhere else. But what I could do instead is pump that oxygen, uh, the CO2 out, filter it in some way. And that is absolutely a possibility later on. Oh, my lord. You've got so many things to do. You know what? I'm going to cancel this part, even though that would be super useful to me. Let's just get the other work done first, shall we? I feel that that's probably a reasonably high priority. I'm getting up some more water. We'll have a link down to this water soon, and that will help out quite a lot in and of itself. Yeah, I know. The oxygen in here is pretty bad, but soon it's going to be okay. There we go. Everything is sorted. And let's actually have a look at these lights. What do they do? Decor zero. Decor zero. They just give light and reduce a little bit of stress when people are there. Let's have a look at people's stress, actually. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of people. Ooh, Miss Minnie is super stressed. Why is that, Miss Minnie? Interrupted sleep. Okay, well, that will happen. Hopefully... Your stress is going down. Yeah, it is going down right now. And generally speaking, once we've got all of these things sorted, it's it's going to be nice. 
you will be coming these stress very quickly. Someone is currently sculpting at the moment. And we should be getting a nice, breathable atmosphere in that bedroom. There we go. It's very, very nice. Things are, are moving on. Things are moving on. I'm, I'm pleased to see that. Decor-wise, that place is just going to be an eyesore. Um, I could try and improve it by maybe lifting the roof in some areas and putting in some lovely art. That is a possibility, actually. Also, clearing up all of the just rubbish that's all over the place would help. Ooh, look at that. A mediocre sculpture. It's not great, but it's, mean, it's not, you know, not terrible. Um, to call 22, really, it's 8. Oh, wait. Did I... Is, who did that art? Mm, Grave Walker. It was probably you, wasn't it? Oh, okay, Scallywag. Um, you're great at composting, apparently. Um, sure, okay, then. I'm going to have you doing that, since you're a great tinkerer. Um, also, not power generation for you. But we've got a couple of people whose athletics is starting to rise. You really do need to constantly check on this. I'm gonna, yeah, Clissa, you can actually help out with that. I'm fine with that. Um, who is the best cook? We haven't got a best cook. That is, that is quite bad. Oh well, we're gonna wait on that then. Uh, but we do absolutely need this area swept as a mega high priority. Let's get all of that sorted. Oh dear, oh dear, it happened. Someone has weed everywhere. Uh, so we need mopping, mega high priority, mega high priority. Let's get this work done, people. Uh, in fact, because I've put all of these at a high priority, we're gonna cancel those. Please do the mopping first. Because that, that's, that, it's, it's leaking, it's going everywhere, guys. Uh, this is why I built the barrier. This is why I built the barrier. So, working as intended. Um, don't let the weed get in the water supply because it takes ages for you to get the research to be able to clean that up once it does. But there we go. Okay, so that's all sorted. Crisis has been averted for now. Right, let's get that sorted. And, oh, no, there's still water over here. Oh, is it leaking in through the walls? It's probably leaking in through the walls. Okay, so it does do that. Not not all um, surfaces are completely um, solid. Some some are, are allow liquid to move through. That's true of the walls you create as well. Uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna cancel this work for now. I know it's kind of annoying, but there we are. Uh, I would like that to be built eventually, and these to be deconstructed eventually. But for now, the highest priority in this colony is mopping the floor. I know, I know, it sucks so bad. But we, yeah, see, it's just dripping out there from the, the wall. So we do need to get that sorted as quickly as we can, please. And then we'll be in a position where we can uh, deal with this. But we need to keep on top of mopping this floor quite badly. Uh, that is quite the, the pain. But there we go. Let's get all of this sorted. Mop. There we are. We'll keep you doing this for now. Let's just get all of that done. Mop there as well. There we go. We should be fine now. This room should not be terribly bad all the time. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so one thing we can do in here to make this place lovely and all well maintained. Let's get this place swept first and then over here as well. Once we've done that, we can start looking at setting up the supercomputer. I know it's been a while since I've been recording, uh, sorry, uh, since I've been researching. And also, we have uh, actually cancelled all of that. Highest priority, fabricate loads of mush bars. There we go. I let the food drain right down. People will start being very unhappy with that. There we go. They'll do a little bit of more work, but we haven't got that much uh, room to store stuff, so they'll eventually just start doing work on the uh, on making food. There we go. Oh, are you sick? You are. You got diarrhea. Oh, no. That's terrible. They stepped in too much contaminated water. Oh, that's frustrating. But not a lot we can do about it right now. Uh, there we go. Everyone go and sleep. Shouldn't have let the, the food situation get as bad as that. That was me being distracted with way too many things to do. Uh, oh, you needed to go to the loo. Midnight, midnight loo run. Fair enough, I understand. How are we doing for oxygen right now? Uh, let's see. Not too bad. What was the last day? Okay, we're making a little bit more than, than we're consuming. That's good, but not a great message for later on because we are going to start running out. Um, do need to start making more norms, please, people? We do not have enough. There we go. Let's just keep that on the go for now. Ooh, you are very, very sick. Go on, go, go to the toilet. <laughs> We're gonna need that toilet cleaned like constantly for now. 
Uh, there we are. People are nomming. People are happy with that. Let's continue to produce more. Oops, there we are. I, I'm too used to a lot of games allowing me to just click on the items in order to order it. There we go. Get this room all swept up as well. We're all... Well, actually, we're going to be a little while before we can do any more sweeping because we've run out of storage space. Okay, so time, I think, for the supercomputer. How far off are we from this? Hmm... It doesn't matter to me enough. We need the supercomputer more. So let's dig this area out and then build up a, a wee wall over on this side. We'll have another door around here and then a supercomputer in this room. Now, it will get a little bit bad in terms of the uh, the oxygen in there, but there's a, not a huge amount I can do about that right now. We'll eventually fix that out. Down there is pretty bad, though. Get some more algae coming in. How much algae have we got? Let's have a look at organic. Not enough, I would say. We need a lot more. A lot more. But on the whole, things aren't going too bad for our colony at this moment. We are starting to get to a point where I'm a little bit concerned that we're behind the curve in getting the ability to uh, sustain the colony. But we should be able to correct that with a little bit of focused effort in the coming episodes. But that's where we're going to leave it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. We haven't made a great deal of progress, but we've got two more duplicates. So we're getting a decent amount of work done. We're starting to specialize our duplicates as well, making sure the best people are doing the work when it's required. But that will be it for now. So as ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.